videotape from a gas station turns liability around and allows this motorcycle accident victim to receive a, a nice recovery after a second insurance policy is found. Hello and welcome to this week's case review. I'm Shane from Shane Smith Law. Today we're talking with Alex Katz, one of our attorneys here, and we're going to talk about one of our more recent client victories and how this case went. Um, so Alex, tell me about AT's case. How did the accident originally start? So the accident just started when our client, AT, just was riding his motorcycle and the adverse driver cut him off, causing AT to flip over and go from literally one screen to another screen on a video from the gas station. Oh, wow. That's crazy. How was AT? Did, were they okay? Uh, he was not okay. He was actually taken via an ambulance to the emergency room where they diagnosed him with a concussion, two broken arms, two broken wrists, a broken T3 and L1 vertebrae, two broken tibias, broken left femur, and a broken right ankle. Wow, I mean, that's awful. Um, it sounds like he's lucky to be alive. Oh, he definitely is. Actually, while they were operating on him, he got blood clots in his lungs as well. Jeez. Did the police find, I mean, who did they say was at fault for the accident? They said the adverse driver was at fault for the accident. However, on the accident report, it actually listed that our client, A.T., was speeding. So, so initially, they sort of laid a little bit of blame on him, even though it sounds like he was sort of just an innocent driver of a motorcycle, basically. Absolutely. And, and this is something we see sometimes with motorcycles or pedestrians either way, because they're hurt so bad during the collision, they really can't even tell their side of the story when the police are there, you know, so the you know, the police are just creating it sort of based on a one-sided version um, and just trying to look and figure out what's going on. So I I'm glad, even though they laid the blame on him, how did the rest of the case progress, I guess? Did the insurance company try to fight us on that or did they just say it was hurt so severe? What was their response? They initially tried to give some pushback, but then I just sent the adverse driver's insurance, the video. Okay. And then they accepted liability. All right, so so... But for, you know, having that video from the gas station, who knows what would have happened uh, from yeah, the accident. So glad you were able to obtain that video and, uh, and I guess have a visual, you know, record of what happened during the accident. Because otherwise, they might would have tried to blame him even more, even though he didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Especially, you know, with North Carolina's contributory negligence rule. Right. Because if they'd been able to, to basically prove he'd been speeding, then that would have given them a basis to deny any recovery whatsoever. So good job on locating that video and, and being able to use it to basically uh, establish liability. Yeah, I appreciate it. And then also then the first pitfall of this case was initially there was only $30,000 in liability. All right. And when you say initially, does that mean you found some other insurance available? Yeah, actually, we found another $100,000 available. Wow. I mean, that's a huge win for the client. I mean, obviously, it would have been easy just to take the 30 and be done with it. Where'd you find the other insurance? How were you able to get that? So on the accident report, it listed the driver and the owner of the vehicle as two separate entities. And okay. so we found both. We had to go through the DMV to find both. And we're lucky that the actual driver of the vehicle had her own policy for $100,000. Right. Okay. So, so what it sounds like is somebody borrowed somebody else's car and the initial, you know, insurance was that car, but that since they borrowed somebody else's, they had their own policy and you were able to get them under that policy as well and locate an extra hundred thousand dollars for the client, basically. Yes, pretty much. Wow. Okay. I mean, that sounds wonderful. I mean, I'm sure AT was, uh, what was, what was their response? Um, at first he was actually really kind of nervous because his medical bills were $233,000 and some change. And we only had 130,000 to work with. So actually uh, he was kind of hesitant to accept a pro rata portion. So what I did was I actually emailed and got into touch with the, with the CEO of the hospital that he was at and they accepted pro rata as full and final. Okay. Uh, and then still owing all of that remaining amount. So it sounds like you managed to get that $230,000 insurance or uh, bill reduced down to about how much would that uh, be? Around, around $38,000. Okay. And after that, how did AT feel? Oh, he was thrilled because then he walked away with full and final about $45,000 in his pocket. That sounds, I mean, sounds good. It sounds like, so just a short recap, you managed to get all the insurance from the driver. 
and all the insurance on the vehicle to hit the person. And then after that, you got the hospital reduce their bill down to take up basically pennies on the dollar because that was all the money there was. So he doesn't have to worry about any collections or anybody coming after him. And he walked away with, you know, a good bit of money in his pocket. Is that right? Yes. And he just was married and laid off. So the money could not have gone to a better person and at a better time. Wow. Well, I'm glad this, uh, I'm glad he called and talked to us and, and hired us on the case. Um, and you were able to help this basically motorcycle victim. I mean, he was on a motorcycle, but he was the victim and the way it was set up and um, you were able to get a great result for him. Is there anything else on this particular case that sort of stands out to you? Um, we've already covered a lot. Um, the biggest thing that stands out is always get as much insurance as you can afford. He, uh, one, one of the last things he told me is, is I could have afforded a $250,000, $500,000 insurance. And I wish I just did it. Yeah. I mean, I, I would say that to all of our listeners, always get as much insurance as you can afford because you can be the victim in this case and the other side might not have any insurance. And fortunately you were able to find that second policy, but otherwise it would have been a, a whole different story, you know, dealing with just a $30,000 policy out there. So um, I would echo that by as much insurance as you can. I'm Shane from Shane Smith Law. Remember, if you're in pain, call Shane. Find us online or dial 9-980-999-9999. Like and subscribe and see more client victories from Shane Smith Law. In pain, call Shane. 9 Shane Smith Law. In pain, call Shane.